And tourism is now a huge contributor to economic growth for a number of countries in East Africa. But not all countries in the region have yet managed to tap into its enormous potential. Comoros, an island nation in the region, just two hours flight from Tanzania, however, now wants to change its story. Tourism is now a huge contributor to economic growth for a number of countries in East Africa, but not all countries in the region have yet managed to tap into its enormous potential. Comoros, an island nation in the region just two hours flight away from Tanzania, however now, wants to change its story. And joining us to talk more on this is a journalist and environmental activist, Humi Ahmed Mikidash. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, thank you. Quickly share with us, how is Comoros Island coping without active tourism business due to the COVID-19 pandemic? Yeah, Comoros Island is not well actually uh, known for its tourism because it's not well developed. So the pandemic did, that, did not affect the, Comor the tourism business, but actually it gives opportunities for the 25th country, which I actually recognized diversity and this is actually very interesting because today the user of Comoros has implemented um, a program which is to help the local communities the communities understand better better how they can co-manage the uh, six areas, uh, protected areas, which is which are in the the islands, in the three islands. Okay, I, I want to quickly also talk about environmental activism in Comoros Island. How is the country walking towards SDGs when it relates to climate change? Okay, um, I can't say that I'm, I, I'm an activist. I'm not an activist. I'm a journalist. I'm an investigative journalist. And as a journalist, we actually portray the opportunities and also the challenges. For the Sustainable Development Goals and, and for instance, climate actions, Comoros actually um, tries, tries to, uh, the, the Union of Comoros tries actually to integrate the youth and the youth with the civil society try to understand climate action. But actually, the, the problem for Comoros is to uh, help the youth better understand how they can manage to be uh, the one who give actually the solution, for instance, in uh, recycling, because waste management, for instance, it's a big challenge in Comoros. So um, for the sustainable development goals to be achieved, it has also to implement a way to integrate the youth toward the jobs um, related to sustainability. And this is a challenge. Even if the country is actually, the country actually implemented a policy with the uh, French government, uh, it has actually a long way because um, commerce has to integrate environmental education. This is why actually we are in commerce and we have implemented a company um, which is a media online, ERA Environment, my media, with a radio on environmental education. And with environmental education, we can help the youth better understand the challenges and the opportunities. Pretty interesting, and I must also say it's, it looks like a very beautiful island. Um, but, and that's why I'm going to ask next. Now the businesses are gradually coming back. Take us through those beautiful sites to look out for in Comoros. There are indeed beautiful sites in Comoros, and Comoros um, has is a chance to um, integrate landscape, very diverse, uh, diverse landscape mountain seas um uh beautiful beach uh this is quite important to emphasize um the 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 real challenge for Comoros is to uh, manage to um, manage its wastes and um beside that this is very very beautiful and um related to the investors uh, we can say that the investors are still in the country. Um, there are 
even if when the when Comoros um, experienced crisis, political crisis, the investors still uh, were in Comoros, and um, today uh, we noticed that the. World Bank uh, came back to Comoros and has its own office and its own policies uh, with uh, with Comoros. So the challenges, as I said, for the beautiful uh, landscape of Comoros is to have sustainability. Um, uh, it's actually to manage to uh, manage the 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 um, the landscape. Uh, with sustain sustainability and um, actually if uh, um, Comoros has a sustainable tourism that will be the key for the development of the countries. Related to uh, the question of what is the level of collaboration with other journalists across Africa to drive this goal through media, um, we implemented a company uh, which is actually um, a company who was born from uh, an initiative of African journalists. I was part of an association and I've decided to um, create my company with, uh, with journalists from this association from Africa. So today we have implemented a project related to climate change and sustainability, sustainable development goals. So we actually, uh, even if with the COVID-19 pandemic, we emphasized uh, how actually the community can better understand the natural resources or can be protected uh, with the natural resources. For instance, in uh, Congo Brazzaville, in the Republic of Congo, we have a journalist there who actually work with the indigenous. And it is very important to emphasize that the indigenous are a key for the development of a country, especially in Africa with the traditional, traditional uh, habits. And this is quite important. Uh, secondly, we have a journalist in South Africa who is a former journalist from SABC and um, we, yes, we are working on biodiversity with him and um, for instance for, um, for South Africa it's very important to emphasize that we also uh, have a, a link with key experts for instance for, from Future Africa. So the radio we implement with the, within the media um, actually is a way to better integrate all these experts in Africa and all the journalists who are working uh, within ERA environment. For instance, we um, implement a program who, which actually integrates um, the understanding of the biodiversity in Nigeria, in, uh, in Congo Brazzaville, in, uh, in Senegal, uh, we also uh, have a link with other countries in the world, for instance in Fiji uh, with the small island states, it's very important to link with it. And we also work on blue economy and this is quite important because we actually started to um, cover the information on blue economy uh, from Rio plus 20 and then we actually also um, decided to uh, cover the blue economy in Mauritius and in, uh, in Nairobi uh, and we actually invite, were invite, we, we actually invited the, the Ministry of Ocean to be interviewed uh, by our media and he accepted. Mm -hmm.